Yeah. I started off a 49ers fan a- myself. And, you know, I totally flipped sides going to the Cowboys. But I moved here. I've been yeah. here for uh, 15 years or so. So I get it. Okay, I'm going to take a guess. If you're a 49ers fan, are you born in the late 70s? Uh, 80s. Born in 82. 82, so early 80s. Okay, yes. yeah. Because my was I'm born in I'm born in '75, and uh, my brother is born in '79, and him and his friends that were a little bit younger, so '79, '80, '81, '82, you guys grew up with Montana Rice, Steve Young, all those guys, and I understand why <laughs> that was <laughs> that was a great era of of 49ers and, and terrible era for the Broncos. We lost, you know, once to the 49ers. What once to the Giants and once to the Redskins, I think. So, anyway, so, yeah. sorry, I should just call them the Washington Football Team. Not right, uh, right, the, right. that Redskins name is not uh, one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, not at all, not at all. But <laughs> man, great, great opportunity to have you on the show. Thank you so much for coming on. Once again, Fabio Del Rio of CSC Games. Check out the website today, csegames.com visit it check it out it's a great website and also a lot of great games on there and appreciate you so much for coming on hey my pleasure i had a lot of fun uh, the time certainly flew by and not every day you get a good mix to talk uh, tabletop games and sports uh, i really enjoyed it yeah definitely definitely thank you and uh, everybody once again fabio del rio of csc games go visit the website go check it out thank you Hey, what's up, BS3 Sports fans? If you love listening to the BS3 Sports Show, check out the weekend wrap-up every Monday at 12.15 Central Time, 1.15 Eastern, recapping the weekend in sports like you never heard it before. Comedy, interactive chat room, it's a must-listen weekend wrap-up on Spreaker.com. Part of the X Squad. Check it out. You won't be disappointed. Listen up. This is Jay from Sitter Start Fantasy Football, SitterStart.net, and you are tuned into the BS3 Sports Show. Sports talk at its finest by real sports fans. And we are back in the BS3 Sports Show. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. That was Fabio Del Rio of CSC Games. Uh, Looks like we got uh, Mocha Bella was the latest newcomer, it looks like, to the chat room. Uh, University of Central Florida has won. That was a thriller game right there. Wow, 62-55. to University of Central Florida Remains undefeated. Uh, Oklahoma ran up the score on TCU 41-17. to TCU could not stop anybody or anything. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Like I said before, Big 12 is a conference where they don't play defense. Period. Next up, we got Georgia versus Auburn is getting ready to start on CBS. I got that game on in the background, so I'll be watching and talking at the same time. Uh, Miami and Clemson play at 7 Central. Ohio State, Wisconsin play at 7 Central. Fresno State and Boise State, they play at 645 Central time for the Mountain West Championship. A uh, shout out to the Gov in the chat room. He said Tiger fell back to earth today, but he still looks okay. Just hope his uh, pain free next week. Yeah, I was gonna talk about that. Tiger Woods back into into golf. I didn't know. I thought he was done. Honestly, uh, you know, yesterday he ended with under seven um, after four under entering into the weekend. So I thought this was gonna be his championship to win 
to kind of get back into the fold, to kind of get back into golf and, and be successful again. But I just don't know if it's going to happen. Marco Bella says, the U, let's go Canes. I'm rooting for you guys. I hope that you guys win. I want to see the U back just like anybody else. So, I hope that it happens. So, Cowboys played a game this past Thursday, and we did win. Finally, finally, we win a game and we look like we know how to play football. We've been looking lost these past couple of games. So, finally, we come back, win a game. It's only one game, so it doesn't mean that much. But I think that means a lot for the confidence because it looks like they were starting to give up. It really looks like they were starting to give up. And they did not believe in themselves or this team anymore. Mocha Bella says, I hope Rozier play uh, to win tonight. I agree. And everybody, we are taking callers for the last hour of the show. I'll be ending the show at 4 p.m. Central Time, which is 5 Eastern. So anybody that is wanting to call in, whatever you want to call in and talk about, the number is 469-351-0881. I will put that in the chat room. But the Cowboys won. Again, I'm excited about it. Uh, they made some defensive adjustments, which they needed to do. You can't continue to go game after game and act like this defense is okay. Because it's not. They put a woozy A in. He made some plays on defense. They also put in Kayvon Frazier, who was laying some big hits. Um, Jeff Heath got a big red zone interception. I started to get a little bit worried in this game, though, because the first first down for the Cowboys wasn't until the end of the first half, end of the first quarter. So I'm thinking, okay, the ball's not moving. We're not able to make plays. This is going to be the same way it was in the previous game. But I was wrong, and they played like they wanted to win. They played like they wanted to win. Uh, Jason Witten gets a touchdown that puts them up 7-0. Demarcus Lawrence gets a strip sack. Malik Collins recovers it. This game was definitely a bounce-back game that they had to win. We all talk about must-win games. This was a must-win game. Now, a lot of things are going to have to happen in their favor, but this was a must-win game. Uh, Demarcus Lawrence leads the NFL in sacks, 13.5. Hopefully, he can continue that. Uh, This this is a contract year. I don't like to think this way, but it's a contract year. And he's playing the best football of his whole career. To me, that means that he's playing well because it's a contract year. I don't hate him for it. I respect him for it. You put your body on the line, game in, game out. You don't get that much guaranteed money. That's smart. If you're an NFL player, that's actually smart. So he's leading the NFL with sacks. The Skins had three turnovers in the first half. So that was really, really pretty much the beginning of the end for them. Having three turnovers in the first half is not a good look. And more than likely... You're going to lose the game. Also, you look at... It just seemed like the Redskins could not get into a groove. Their offensive line is hurt. Their offensive line obviously wasn't ready for this game either. And they had injuries again. So, Cowboys go up 10-0. Towards the end of the second quarter. Taco Charlton gets a sack. Tacos for everybody. Giving out free tacos. I think they give out free tacos at like Taco Bueno, which is a a restaurant here in Texas, if he gets a sack. So, Taco Charlton getting into there. The biggest moment that scared me in this game. Dak Prescott gets injured. He gets a helmet, hits his hand. I was really like, come on. This, Jesus, don't let it happen this way. Don't let him go down. 
Come on, son. Come on. I was really wondering how bad is this injury, number one. Number two... Is Cooper Rush, who's the backup, is he ready to come into this game and actually play football? Because he hasn't played since the preseason. So he comes back. uh, Everything was fine. His his hand was swollen, though, like crazy. So I haven't heard anything yet as far as the next upcoming game against the Giants. Uh, We will see. Uh, Brian Switzer with the 83-yard punt return touchdown. Uh, I was beyond excited about that. I'm a Tar Heel fan. He's a Tar Heel. So, to me, that was very exciting. And then the Redskins score. So, it's 17-7. to So, 17-7 at the half. After halftime, DeMarcus Lawrence with another sack. Uh, Cousins was having to scramble like crazy. I respect him for all that scrambling he was doing. He he was having to scramble and to run around everywhere. So I I, I give respect where it's due. He there was a lot he had to do in this game. There was a lot of running around he had to do, and he he was able to do it. Uh, but over time, it just started to wear. So. And on on the Cousins' note, when are the Redskins going to decide to just sign this guy? Like, who else do you have? What else? What other options do you have? I mean, they act like there's so many other quarterbacks out there, and he's just one of the great quarterbacks. That's not true. There's not very many good quarterbacks, and you have a, I would say, a second-tier quarterback and Cousins put a good team around him I think he could definitely do something but they just treat this guy like he's nothing like this year to year crap sign the guy and be done with it why well, keep playing around with it so that, that's that's my, my take on the Cousins thing just let this sign the guy and let him play out his, his contract because somebody will sign him so, Dez Bryant gets a touchdown. This is in the third quarter. It's 24-7. Dez is now the all-time leader in touchdowns for the Cowboys. 72. He passed Bob Hayes. Dez has not really been having that good of a year. I'll definitely say that. Hasn't been having that good of a year. But to me, this was this was an exciting time for him. He hasn't had a touchdown catch. It's been a while. I believe it's since I don't know, since a month, since a month ago. So I think he definitely, definitely needed this kind of boost. And it's not all on Dez. A lot of people want to pull it on Dez. Yes, Dez has been dropping passes. Uh, yes, Dez has not been perfect. But some of this is on Dak. You have passes that are overthrown. You have passes that are thrown at his feet. And I think you got to put some of the blame on Dak. It's not all on Dez. But Dez does contribute to it. And I think he has affected this season for the Cowboys, for sure. So I was going to name the show Dez is King of the Hill because he's now the all-time leader, but I decided not to do that. It's Championship Saturday, so that's on a better fitting. Alfred Morris gets a touchdown. I was excited about that. He ran over for over 100 yards. Uh, David Irvin gets a sack, gets a tip pass. David Irvin is a flat-out beast of a defensive lineman. We're going to have to re-sign this guy sooner or later. And I think it's time that we do it. Uh, Probably do it now so you're not waiting around for something to happen. Uh, So, very, very excited about this win. Uh, Anthony Brown gets the interception. He was actually benched. This was a this was a great all around game. All-